Survivors of sports doctor Larry Nassar's sexual abuse have filed a lawsuit against his former employer, Michigan State University. The women claim MSU officials made, quote, secret decisions about releasing documents in the case. Terrell Bailey reports. Survivors of sports physician Larry Nassar filing suit Thursday against Michigan State University. In the over 50-page filing, it accuses the university of making secret decisions when it comes to releasing documents for the case. It's just sad. It's just really, really sad because, you know, there's something in those documents that they're hiding. So now the old board was the problem, but now the new board they no longer have clean hands. Nasser currently sits in prison where he's slated to spend the rest of his life for sexually abusing multiple female gymnasts. More than 500 survivors have come forward, some saying the assault started before they were 13 years old. Would you say the university more than likely, they knew what was happening? I believe that there's a certain point at which they knew what was happening, yes, and I, we need to discover what that point was. Around 6,000 unseen documents is reason for the lawsuit. Survivors and their families say they were promised transparency from the university and its board of trustees. The lawsuit accuses the board of violating the Open Meetings Act in April when it decided not to release the documents behind closed doors. They can vote yay or nay. You know, we can't tell them how to vote, but we know how to support them or to oppose them at the voting booth. What they did here was they they wanted to remove themselves from, from public scrutiny. The group filing the lawsuit say it's not about money. It's a call for accountability. They say after years of litigation, it's time to get the truth. It's hard emotionally on the survivors to have to keep doing this and keep asking and keep being denied and not feel like they ever get to the truth. We reached out to Michigan State University to see how they plan to prove these allegations were false. We were sent this statement that reads in part, the university does not comment on pending litigation and we have not seen or been served with the lawsuit. Reporting for CBS News Detroit, I'm Terrell Bailey.